Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's a lot of buzz today about unbeaten 25 and 0, 6 foot 7 and a half inch Polish heavyweight Marius Walk. Yesterday, he almost decapitated Kevin McBride the boxer you may remember who retired Mike Tyson. I made a video of this uh, fight before it took place and to my surprise, and I seriously mean to my surprise, an obscure video that I thought maybe 100, 200 people would be interested in uh, right now has significantly more views than that. Apparently Marius Walk is an open secret in boxing. The latest rumor has Vladimir Klitschko, the world heavyweight champion, considering him as a possible opponent. Walk Polish now lives in New Jersey where he has a following. Let's play matchmaker. Let's talk about a possible fight between heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko and unbeaten challenger. One of the few guys who actually is taller than Vladimir Klitschko, Marius Walk. Now, let's just talk about first the Walk McBride fight. Devastating fourth round KO. McBride hits the canvas. He is out cold. Does not move a muscle, right? He's out for much longer than the 10 count. The referee waves it off before he gets the 10. McBride, a tough guy. Right? has only lost to top-tier fighters, uh, people like Andrew Galata. Uh, well, I guess I can't say that. He did lose to Mike Mullo, did get blown out, has had problems, but I don't believe he's been knocked out like this before. McBride was carried out of the ring. There was some concern about how seriously he had been knocked out. In other words, the knockout was devastating. To get that knockout, Walk threw a placeholder left hand, then came back with his money punch, a straight right hand. Walk, who models his game after Vladimir Klitschko, right? He shoots a jab, he tries to fight from distance. His money punch is a straight right hand, right? But let's remember. Before we get carried away a bit, McBride, Kevin McBride, the opponent knocked out by Walk yesterday, is very different than Vladimir Klitschko. Those differences, in my opinion, would give Klitschko the edge in a fight against Marius Walk. Let me just point out uh, that Klitschko, and it's interesting, but Klitschko seems to do better against taller fighters than he does against shorter fighters, right? Let's focus on height for a second. Think about it, right? Klitschko against shorter fighters. Corey Sanders had problems, lost that fight, got knocked out. Lehman Brewster, first fight, had problems, lost that fight, got knocked out. Sam Peter, first fight, had problems, right? Klitschko seems to do better in rematches but the first Peter fight you may recall he was knocked down multiple times right Peter went the distance with him Sultan Abragamov another shorter fighter went the distance with him even Eddie Chambers shorter fighter smaller fighter made it to the twelfth round and only got knocked out in the closing moments of that fight Right, so with shorter guys, Klitschko has a bit of an issue. Most recently, David Hay went the distance with Vladimir Klitschko. Right, granted, Klitschko won that fight, UD, wide decision. But the point is, David Hay went the full 12 rounds. Now, against taller fighters, Klitschko usually gets knockouts. Calvin Brock, KO. Ray Austin, second round KO. Tony Thompson, KO. Taller fighters have a problem 
getting close to Klitschko's body, right? Klitschko's able to hide himself better with taller boxers. His style actually works better against taller boxers. I don't think Marius Wach's size, which at first glance you would say, oh, this guy's big enough to rumble with Vladimir Klitschko. I don't think his size necessarily would be an asset. Quite frankly, in my opinion, it makes it more likely that he gets stopped by Vladimir Klitschko. Keep in mind, the bigger you are, the more there is to hit. Right? Some fighters have problems with shorter guys. Rocky Marciano, Joe Fraser, Mike Tyson. There's a whole list of uh, former heavyweight champs who literally leveraged the fact that they were smaller because that makes it tougher to keep them from getting inside. Shorter fighters usually have developed skill sets where they're able to get under your guard. And in my opinion, Vladimir Klitschko has a problem against fighters who can get inside on him. I personally, and I've said this in other videos, don't believe Vladimir Klitschko has much of an inside game. However, in my opinion, looking at tapes of Marius Wach, I don't believe he does either. Let's get back to Vladimir Klitschko versus Kevin McBride, the differences between the two. McBride uses what I call a rabbit ears defense, right? That's actually a phrase I got from Teddy Atlas. Atlas uses the phrase. It's when you have your hands up around your temples, right? And when the guy starts to throw, you put your hands up like this. This way, you're supposed to be able to block hooks and you're, you know, you have a little bit of body armor on you, right? That's Kevin McBride. Vladimir Klitschko is completely different. While Klitschko has rabbit ears from time to time, he actually plays a much different distance game. Understand, when I have rabbit ears up, people can get close to me, right? I'm not throwing anything. I have my hands up like this. You can literally bridge the distance between you and me. What Vladimir Klitschko has done through the training of Emmanuel Stewart is he's turned to the side, right? He's turned to the side. He's shooting a jab. He's rolling with punches. In other words, you throw the punch, rather than reach his hands up to block it, many times Vladimir Klitschko simply rolling with the punch. He already has, in more times than not, an arm's reach advantage over you. So if he's keeping you at the end of a jab and you're lunging in trying to hit him while he has his jab properly timed, then the odds are that you aren't going to get too close to him as it is. In other words, to get inside on him, if you're a taller fighter, you're going to have to time your onslaught for an interval between when He's throwing his jab, right? He's constantly pumping it out there. He's even holding his hand out there when he's not throwing a jab. You're going to have to time it, and you're going to have to turn him so that his jab is not in the way when you lunge in. And what I've found is many guys lunge in. Vladimir Klitschko is far enough away from them where he can just roll and take the sting out of the punch. He doesn't do it as well. As his brother Vitaly, as I've said in countless other videos, I consider Vitaly to be the better Klitschko, the best heavyweight on the planet. Vladimir isn't Vitaly, but he's able to roll with punches. He keeps you at length. It is much harder to get inside on Vladimir Klitschko because of his jab and because of the way he positions his body and his feet. Right? He has his feet wide. He's not facing you. It's a side profile. It's much harder to get inside on Vladimir Klitschko than it is Kevin McBride. Let me also uh, point out too that McBride, who has power, look at his number of knockouts, but McBride can't hit you with power from distance. In other words, if you're far outside on Kevin McBride, you're pretty safe. His power doesn't travel. He has to be there in order to hurt you with big punches. Vladimir Klitschko doesn't. Vladimir Klitschko, who throws an excellent jab, the jab just sets the table, throws an excellent jab that keeps you outside. 
but he also throws a devastating and it's lethal and it's powerful left hook and that left hook especially when he's turned sideways and his left arm is the front arm that left hook can knock you out take a look at the Ray Austin fight I don't think Vladimir Klitschko throws a right hand the entire fight take a look at Eddie Chambers after he's hit with a left hook in the 12th round of their fight in other words Vladimir Klitschko can dole out knockout level punishment from distance if you can't get inside on Vladimir Klitschko you've lost the fight he's a skilled fighter who can dole out punishment from distance he doesn't have to get next to you to hurt you right so you have to have the foot speed to be literally where David Hay was one step beyond Vladimir Klitschko's reach right if you don't have that foot speed and if Vladimir Klitschko who has foot speed is able to get you within arm's length where he can touch you with a jab you're at risk because he can touch you with a left hook and that left hook has knocked out more than one opponent now let's talk about Marius Wach as I have three and a half minutes left in my opinion he doesn't have a left hook and that's a big difference in this fight from a certain range only Vladimir Klitschko can knock you out even though Wach is taller than Klitschko <coughs> Klitschko with his left hand while still guarded from distance can knock out Wach in my opinion Wach can't knock him out because Wach doesn't have that left hook also Wach in my opinion only has one world-class punch and it's a right hand up top right hand to the head I don't believe Wach has an inside game I don't think either Klitschko or Wach has an inside game so what Wach did to McBride is he threw his best punch it's a straight right to the head that punch is concussive the problem is because Wach doesn't have a concussive punch in my opinion with his left because it's just a straight right hand I guess he knocked out I believe his name's Christian Hammer or some name like that with a right hook up close but because Wach is right hand dependent to me that makes it very unlikely that he could beat Vladimir Klitschko because Klitschko will be able to focus on that haymaker the entire fight keep in mind too just logistically since both men are right-handed it's going to be very hard for Wach to get by Klitschko's left jab to land that straight right hand let me also uh, say too that what Klitschko does is he hits you with a jab early he's winning the slow rounds right understand the mechanics of a Klitschko fight jabbers win slow rounds if the guys are not doing much in the ring then the fighter who's throwing more volume will win those rounds so Klitschko comes out he's shooting a jab he's winning the slow rounds right big men who can't move and keep in mind Klitschko is a great athlete for his size compared to other guys who are 6'6 six, six, he's a phenomenal athlete right he moves much better usually big guys have coordination problems right Vladimir Klitschko moves much better than anyone I know in boxing who's 6'6 six, six and taller right you have to get in a basketball to find guys that height who move as well as Vladimir Klitschko so what Klitschko is doing early is he's hitting you with the jab he's winning those early rounds then he works in a left hook then he starts closing the distance between you and him he's setting up his own right hand his right hand is a showstopper against a guy like Wach Wach almost certainly would fall behind early would have to start to try to be aggressive on Klitschko would literally run into Klitschko's left hook and Klitschko's straight right I like Vladimir Klitschko big against Wach. I think Klitschko likely would get a knockout. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.